Hi, my name is Rodney Andrews. I live here in Galtus. Um, Galtus is on the southwest coast of Newfoundland in Everybody's Bay. I'm here to uh, guide you around this beautiful little place. You got about a 20 minute ride to come from Hermitage on the ferry, uh, which in itself is very enjoyable. You can watch the whales and the dolphins and the seabirds and just to take in the beautiful scenery. And then when you come around the point, of course, it's like you're stepping back in history because the little quaint village is proudly touched. And uh, the Gauls is in like four places. The locals call the four different sections. You got the, the rooms where the ferry lands, you got the point where the hotel is, then you've got the, uh, the bottom that's another little place in the south. And then you have the valley, which is the highest point, believe it or not. And uh, you walk about Gauntless and you can see all kinds of simple, everything is unchanged and still looks like the old days. And there's a lot of uh, historic places like the, like say the fish store, you've got Whalers Island, the old Catholic church, which is the oldest building in the community. You do the trail, which is very nice. It's about a 45 minute to an hour and a half hike, depending on how how brisk you want to walk or what. Four rocks in front of the harbor. Look out the point and the room. The bottom the valley in Cranch Cove. Beats home, sweet home to me. This is where I was born and raised in my youth. And a time that I'll never forget. This is a, a Newfoundland killick that the early fishermen used to use to uh, anchor their nets or, or just as a ba basic anchor. The weight of the uh, anchor is just a basic rock that they would use to uh, keep it down. Probably some uh, killicks would have more than one rock. Uh, bigger beach rocks would be better. This is, this is quite unique to Galveston in or Newfoundland and, and we're glad to say that we still have these guys here who can build these things. And we had our downs, but the hubs beat the downs by a mile. Regardless the case on a low or a high, Galtonians are able to smile. Galtonians are known as a hard-working lot, and with face the lifeblood of the town. Life was real good, as I'm sure it still is, here in old Galtus town. Four rocks in front of the harbor, the lookout, the point, and the room. Bottom the valley in France Cove means home sweet. I'm a resident of Gauls and I'm a little bit familiar with an old old fashioned thing that's no longer around because the it's just not needed anymore with technology and the way things have changed. But it's it's an old thing that's called a uh, scram box and for most of you probably haven't got a clue what it is. But Back in when my father was a younger man and he was fishing and he was a fisherman all his life, there was no coolers or any plastic containers or anything back in them days. So what they had to do was build their own lunchbox. That's basically what it was. They were round, they could be round or square or pyramid shaped, little wooden cover on it. They were probably about 10 to 15 liter capacity. And you'd have a cover attached by rope that you, you couldn't lose it if it blew off or anything because it was attached with rope. And in that scram box, the lady of the house would pack that scram box the night before, or probably in the morning before he left. And it would consist of enough food to last the fishermen for probably eight or ten hours on the day on the water. where I was born and raised in my youth, and a time that I'll never forget. The fun that we had and the pranks that we played. Still being talked about yet. My friends were the chaps.